Today's SRTV industry news is brought to you by the Federated Auto Parts stores near you. Check them out at federatedautoparts.com. Well, in industry news this week, we're going to take a look at one of the first things people want to do to their high-performance car, which is change the intake system. Now, I'm one of those guys that grew up listening to guys tell me on the street, oh, I got a double pumper. Well, you know what? It didn't do you any good if you had cast iron exhaust manifolds and a stock cam. It's about buying the right products and matching them correctly to make sure you're going to get what you want, more performance. Now, we're going to start with this Edelbrock Performer Series. Now, the beauty of these Edelbrock Performer Series are is they're very easy to bolt on. The nice thing about these is they are kind of a plug and play. The idea behind these is they can either be a performance add-on or replace that old Carter you got on that old Chevy. Now, now, if you move up to the next level, you have the quintessential double pumper Holly. Why? Well, there's your double accelerator pumps, but this is that carburetor that everybody wanted and everybody talked about. The thing is, most of the time this puts too much fuel into your car and you have to tune it back quite a bit with jetting. But then again, if you want big horsepower without going to the big, big carburetors, this is certainly going to be a carburetor you want. And the name Holly speaks for itself. Now, speaking of Holly carburetors, this is the big dog, that's right, this is the dominator, this is the pure, pure racing carburetor. If you look at this thing, I mean, you could suck up a small bird into one of those Venturis right there. I mean, look at this thing when you open it up, it's just amazing the way that you can get this puppy open. Look at that. I mean, it is amazing the amount of fuel air mixture you could get into an engine with this. Now again, this is a race only application. You're going to see this on drag cars, maybe some other applications as far as racing, but you're certainly not going to put this on a street car unless you are, well, a glutton for punishment. Now, part of the other one-two punch in your intake system is the manifold. And this is where you really got to be good about making the right choices. Now, you have something like this. This is the Performer EPS model. And we've got a nice little selection of Edelbrock manifolds here. This is a direct replacement for something that has aftermarket goodies on it. Maybe not a whole bunch of stuff, maybe a set of headers, maybe they picked up a set of ram horn exhaust manifolds for their Chevy, but this is something that's built for off idle power up to about 5,500 RPMs, and it's certainly a good choice if you want to have a little bit more than stock and certainly something that look good, looks good under the hood. Next choice is going to be this RPM gap manifold. Now, the idea behind this is the plenium sits a little higher, a little longer runners. It's going to change the character of where it makes power. Something like this is from 1500 RPMs, about 65, maybe 7000 RPMs, depending on cam choice and what's coming out of the motor as far as headers, long tube, tri y etc. But something like this is going to give you a little bit more of that combination of that lumpity lump when you're going down the street. And what I mean by that is the proper cam choice, which of course comes from Metal Brock is the way that you match this stuff up correctly. Now, if you want to go to the big dog stuff, this is a Victor Jr. And you can see the difference. The first one you're going to notice is the single plane versus dual plane. Now, the dual plane here, again, it splits the fuel air mixture. It's going to have a little bit different tuning. This is a race application. This is big horsepower. You can get these in several different applications that run anywhere from about 2,500 to 7,000 RPMs, all the way up to a high rise version of this that goes 35 to 8,500 RPMs. And that's something you might see on a late model dirt track engine. Now, it's not always about horsepower power and what you do on the track. It's also about looking good. Say you got a 32 high boy. Well, this is where you want this beautiful dual quad setup for Metal Brock. Wonderful idea between putting it all together right from the factory. And the idea is this new Endura shine. If you look at this, if you've ever had chrome parts under the hood, they look great until you drive through that puddle. Then, can you imagine getting your finger right down in there and polishing that? Well, that's the beauty of this Endura Shine. A little bit of mild cleaner, a little bit of spray, boom, it looks like brand new, like it just came out of the box. Now, carburetors are all great, and for a guy that doesn't really know a lot about fuel injection systems, admittedly, just because that's the stuff I grew up with, was a carburetor and a distributor. But today's stuff is all about fuel injection. Take a look at this beautiful Edelbrock ProFlow XT. Now, if you want to talk about putting some fuel and some air in your motor, look at this thing. 90 millimeter intake on that thing. I mean, it looks like the plasma gun at a doom. I mean, this thing is awesome. And this is certainly going to be a little bit more expensive because it comes with its own distributor, its own brain, everything you can do to put this into your car. That's really the beauty of electronic fuel injection and where they're going with the average hot rodder. You can take something like this, put it in your brand new car, your brand new hot rod, and even your old 77 Camaro and get off idle power. And if you want to tune it, nothing but high RPM rush. That's the beauty of fuel injection. No matter what you want to do, there's certainly something out there for you. And I got to give you this, it's a little bit of advice. 
when you're out there choosing what you want to do, make sure you consult someone who really does know what they're talking about. Because putting that double bumper carburetor on your cast iron manifold and then headers is never going to make it run right. That's where fuel injection can really help you or just picking the right parts. This is industry news. This is stuff I wanted to get and take home. But for now, I just got to say goodbye.